Hey guys, this is Dawn at DawnMars.com here, and today I'm going to teach you how to install share buttons on your website. Most notably, I'm going to be looking at the share count for Facebook button and the tweet meme retweet button. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the training by going over to my WordPress back office or one of the various sites that I have set up. Okay, so here we are in my WordPress back office, and what I'm going to do to install a new plugin is to scroll down, and you'll see on the side, Plugins Add New. Click on that. And the first plugin that I'm going to install is the, the um, Share Count for Facebook button. So in here, you're just going to type in Share Count for Facebook, and click Search Plugins. Okay, so it's the top one that you see here, share account for Facebook. Go ahead and install now. Yes, okay, you do want to install the plugin. Next, you're going to want to activate the plugin. All right, so now you're on your plugins page. You're just about done, but the first thing you need to do before checking out your site is configure the plugin. So you're going to scroll down again, and under settings, you're going to see a share count for Facebook now. I'm going to go ahead and click on that to see what the settings have. Okay, so the size. What size do you want? I generally like the large button. Um, prefer that the button stay at the top of the post. Basically, that's uh, more prominent position on your website. There's just one little thing that you're going to have to change in here if you want to make it look the way that I like it to look. Um, you're going to need to go into your wrapper style and delete left and change that to right. Okay, so you're going to want it to flo float on the right side of your page. Um, badge color I leave alone, badge text. I'm going to put share. I'm going to leave the rest blank, but I'm going to show the button on pages as well as post. And I'm going to go ahead and save those changes. Okay, so the settings are saved for that. This whole procedure is the same thing for the tweet meme button. I've already installed that, so you can see down here tweet meme actually has its own settings drop down list. The only thing I want you to note here is that in tweet meme you've got tweet meme and twitter you only want to enable one of these at a time so my preference is the tweet meme button so i would click in here to see what the preferences are and make sure that this is enabled if you go back to the other one to the twitter one at the bottom and you see at the top that they're both enabled if they both say yes it's going to show up two of these little buttons right here are going to show up on your page and it's kind of redundant because you don't need them to tweet twice so just make sure that you only enable one whichever one you like the look of better fill in um, where you'd like this to be positioned on your website I prefer before like I said um, everything else should be just as as you want it to be tweet me normal button in here you're going to want to put your Twitter username the URL shortener just leave it as default unless you want to use bitly or, or some other type of URL shortener Spaces I leave blank, I don't use hashtags, and yes, I do alert tweet me whenever a new post is published, and then save changes. Now that you've configured your share buttons, the only thing left for you to do is check out your site and see how it looks. Do that by clicking the button here that says visit site in the upper left hand corner. And voila, your share buttons will appear magically before your eyes. I hope that you found this post interesting and informative, and if you have any questions or if your share buttons aren't showing up properly, do send me an email to dawn at dawnmars.com, and um, I look forward to seeing you back over at dawnmars.com soon. Take care. Bye-bye.